Hey yo man, what's up, homies? Uh, three one three hitman here. Um, haven't made a uh, nice video in a while, man. Um, to speak on the current state of my one prior rise, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just want to say uh, shout out to the whole entire DVE in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? All y'all niggas, man. Um, I also gotta give a shout out to my homie uh, Motor City Lines Talk, uh, Motor City Sports Talk. Um. He brought up um, two, two very interesting um, free agents uh, that I want to see come here. Um, the first one he brought up, in my opinion, was um, Sheldon Richardson. I'm going to give you my honest opinion of Sheldon Richardson. Okay. I'm going to give you my honest opinion of him. I say we go after him and let go of Ziggy Anza. Yes, Ziggy Anza has been here for a while. Yes, he put up 12 sacks and all that, but he's been giving us 24 games in the past three years. I mean, either he's out or he's nicked up all the damn time. I'm not maxing him out when he's giving us half a fucking season. I mean, the, the desperation of some of these cats is just like, really? Now, I'm not calling Sheldon Richardson a world beater, but he has flexibility, something that Ziggy Ansa does not have. Sheldon Richardson can play the inside and the out. He could play DN or D tackle. And I think he'd be um quite a replacement for um for Nada too. All these people talking about ever since Nada been gone, the D line's been uh sucking ass. W what's wrong with Sheldon Richardson? I say we 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 cut bait with Ziggy. We signed Sheldon Richardson. You know what I'm saying? And then we sit there and wait for uh, Kerry Hyder to uh, rehab. Um, I think we start the Anthony Zettel era. It doesn't matter if you put Richardson out there or Hyder. Me, personally, I prefer um, Richardson in the middle, right along with uh, Sean Robinson. I think we uh, bring Spence back on rotation. Um... He's going to help our defensive line way more than Ziggy Ansa will. I just don't, I don't trust his durability anymore. I don't. I honestly do not. And um, I think it's time we cut bait with Ziggy, man. The second uh, player that he brought up was very interesting to me was Allen Robinson. I think strongly... The Jaguars is going to bring him back. But would I uh, take him over Golden Tate? Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you why. Yes, he has somewhat of an injury history. Yes, he does. Okay. But Golden Tate, I say it's time for him to go play for a Super Bowl contender. I've been very consistent with that message uh, thus far. You know what I'm saying? He's not the number one receiver. He had plenty of opportunity to prove it. He didn't prove it, folks. Stop coming at me with these Golden Tate stats. I don't want to hear that shit. He let us down too many fucking times. And I say we I, I say it's time we go after our Allen Robinson. Pair his ass up with uh Kenny G. And um you got Marvin Jones on the other side. I mean in the slot. You know what I'm saying? I say that's what we do with him. You know, um, you know, catch that can catch the ball and give us first downs. I give a fuck about speed at this point. I mean, we got all the speed in the world. We got TJ Jones in the fucking wings. We can move on without Golden Tate. I mean, I'm not maxing Golden Tate out. That's bullshit. And I and, and look. I was never a big Golden Tate fan to begin with, so don't come at me with this Golden Tate was the most consistent. 
That was the reason for that because Matt Stafford was throwing the fucking ball all the time and we ain't had no running game. So uh, miss me with that bullshit. Now what Allen Robinson brings to the table, he saved Blake Bortles a lot. In my opinion of Blake Bortles, Blake Bortles is fucking trash, okay? So that's going to make Allen Robinson's value slightly tick up. I say we take a look at him. I'm not maxing out no gold to take. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Now, as far as the draft, if Tate and Riddick is still here, I say we give both of them up in the trade if they're both still here. Next year's first and second for a real shot at Saquon Barkley. I know it's a crazy proposal, but truth be told, I only see one franchise running back in this draft, and that is Saquon Barkley. He's the only one worth it, in my humble opinion. Go ahead, take your shots at me in, in the comments section. I know it's going to be some. I just don't see any other franchise running back um, in this draft other than Saquon Barkley. He is the best of the best. I say if we got a real shot to go at him, I say go at him. And real talk, running back wasn't even my first choice. My first choice was linebacker because I'm sick and tired of fucking Whitehead. Whitehead, slow feet ass got to fucking go. I'm done with him. Jared Davis needs all the help in the fucking world. And to hear Whitehead is not the fucking answer. I'm sorry. That's real shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know uh, Mortar City Sports Talk didn't bring him up, but I even take a look at Malcolm Butler. Because, um, never lost his soft ass, his short ass. Now, I'm not saying Malcolm Butler is a shutdown of all shutdowns. But he's hell of a lot better than what the fuck I see from Lawson. So those are my top three free agent um looks. You know, players that I want to see come here. And I know our salary cap isn't that big, but I say we can fit at least two of them here on the best of uh, fair deals. I said we cut bait with Ziggy and Tate, bring in some new blood, we can upgrade in both areas. And yes, I, I consider Allen Robinson and Sheldon Richardson both upgrades. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping shit real, folks. This is my opinion. Y'all can come up with y'all thoughts and shit. You know. Shout out, shout out to the whole motherfucking DVE. Oh, yeah. I got to mention this. Michigan State is number two in the whole fucking country. To all you hazing flukes, we taking our shit back. Shout out to the old motherfucking DVE. I'm out this bitch.